Hey guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again, and it is time for a cooking video. Today I'm going to be cooking up something different, like usual. I don't really know what I'm going to be cooking. It's more so of an improvisation session. I'm doing a little bit of bulk cooking today, and I wanted to, I guess, prepare some future meals. My girlfriend sent over an idea for maybe some sort of Asian fusion wrap. I don't know if you guys ever had some before. It's a Korean style taco. I always call it that, but it really is not anything near that. It's like a lettuce wrap and you put a whole bunch of stuff in it, you wrap it up, it's supposed to be good, a little bit healthy for you. So that's what I'm gonna try today, to cook some sort of lettuce wrap. I'm actually just like looking into my fridge trying to see what I can use. I made a whole bunch of curry yesterday, so I do have that. Um, this will probably last me like two or three more meals. I got a lot of good veggies in here also ready to be used. I feel like seeing inside of my fridge is almost like looking into my closet. I'm a little bit ashamed and embarrassed. Look at this bad boy right here. Yo, I am ready to drink this sometime. Sriracha beer. You guys down for a video with this? This is huge. I don't know how natural you can get with sriracha beer, but I mean, the label don't lie, I guess. What are we gonna put in this wrap? I'm thinking onion is one thing. I didn't plan this video out at all. I wasn't even planning on making a video today. I just got hungry and wanted to film while I prep cook some of my food for the week. I'm gonna probably use my leftover chuck roast for the main source of protein in there. I used this last night for my curry. Turned out really good. If you guys seen my previous videos, you guys know I just love chuck roast meat. What else? Ah, oh, yes, we should probably get this too. Got some celery as well. I think that's good. Of course, we got the lettuce. That comes later. I'm looking into my freezer because I think there's one more ingredient I want to grab. I just can't. Ah, there it is. Find it. Chilies. Always get to spice things up just a tad. I'm ready. Oh, it's been a long day, ladies and gents. Long day today. So, prep cooking is like a love hate relationship. I love it when I do it, but I hate it when I'm doing it. Does that make sense? It just takes so much work sometimes. I spend like maybe two or three hours some days just like prep cooking, but then if I think about it, if I just cook for one day, out of the week. I could save hours throughout the rest of the week. Cause you guys that like live by yourself or taking care of your own meals, you know that cooking every day takes quite a bit of time. Especially like I wanna do things. I wanna do YouTube videos. I wanna lay on my bed watching anime. I don't know, <laughs> just not cooking. But I do wanna eat good meals though, so it's a good balance. This is like the first time I'm washing my hands on camera. History, ladies and gentlemen. History. Super improvised meal, by the way, if I have not stressed that enough. It's just gonna be pretty much a filling inside of a lettuce wrap. That's all we're going for. Making a filling. It's gonna be very simple, too. Usually I like to prep cook on the weekend, but today I'm doing it on a weekday. I'm just gonna be dicing up an onion right now so it can do oniony things in my meal. Extra diced. Yeah, I usually prep cook on the weekends. This past weekend, though, I was just so unmotivated to cook. I think I was just doing a lot of YouTube things, to be honest, and got caught up with that. I ate out so much last week. It was, it was bad. I gotta limit that. I gotta really limit that. This is gonna be a good amount of filling, though. How do you guys find what you're passionate about? Maybe a passion or one way to find your passion? If you would do something for free and not have to get paid for it, that's a pretty good step, right? A start on finding what you're passionate about. I kind of lied, just a little bit. There is a recipe for this wrap online, but mostly I'm just kind of winging it. Yo, and speaking of winging it, I used to love this chicken wing place back in Colorado. The wing place was called Winging It. Such a good spot. I mean, I think it was more so good because of all the memories that were formed there with my friends. We went there like a lot in middle school. We'd just walk there after school, go get some chicken wings. There was this one dessert that was on their menu called the Deep Fried Twinkie. It literally sounds like a heart attack waiting to happen, right? But not only was the Twinkie deep fried, 
served with it was a scoop of ice cream. So we got celery, onions, I'm adding in some jalapeno peppers here now as well. Now I'm gonna chop up some of these red chili peppers. These are super spicy. I like to keep them frozen. You can keep them for longer and they just work like a charm. Putting those red peppers just right there. Giving it a really nice red look, look at that. I love the colors when you're cooking. One of my absolute favorite vegetables right here, coming out to play, green onions. These are just so good. We got a lot of green here. But like I said, just the colors, guys. This is so vibrant, I just love it. I'm gonna put that on the side now, and we're gonna prep our meat. This bad boy, see this? Look at all these little green onions hiding behind there, thinking they can escape. Meat has been sliced and diced. Now with the meat, I'm gonna go ahead and put some dry rub on here. Some of our candidates look pretty familiar, like this gochugaru, one of my favorite go-tos. Cayenne pepper, black pepper, garlic salt, and we also have some ginger coming into play here. Really work the meat with your hands. We're gonna get ready to put the meat into the pan. This is always my favorite part. Just gonna grab chunks of it. Mm. Iron Chef Mushu Hoit Sauce. We're gonna also add in some soy sauce. The smell, it's amazing. Really nice sauce base is forming here, which I love. I'm gonna turn down the heat just a little bit. What this is gonna do is we're just gonna get a nice liquid of good flavors and taste which is starting to build right now, you can see it. And now we're gonna put in the MVPs of the dish, all of our veggies, just right on top here. Let the veggies kind of just sit on top. As a blanket for the meat, it's gonna absorb some of the flavors. While the meat is still cooking, it's gonna steam up the flavors into the vegetables. I'm just kidding with you guys, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I do this all the time when I'm cooking. I feel like I have an idea of what's happening. I have no clue. I really don't know. When I'm cooking, I just do things that make sense to me, but I have no idea if it's an actual thing or not, so I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should really stop doing that. Nonetheless, it smells really good. It's got a really nice sweet smell to it. That hoisin sauce is doing the trick. We're gonna let this settle. We're gonna let it calm down a bit. So it's the wheat day, and I was really, I don't know, thinking hesitant on making a video on a weekday. Usually I feel like I'm just really low energy on the weekdays after work. I was just thinking maybe you could like see that reflecting in my videos and I didn't want that to happen, but I really wanted to film a video today. So I thought I'd give it a shot, but I do apologize if I seem really dead right now. I do feel dead inside. Nah, I'm just kidding. No, but real, for real. Nah, nah, no, 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 okay, 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 for real, for real. Let's, let's, let's take a look at our dish. You know what kind of smell this is giving off right now? Pho. Oh, it smells like pho right now. <laughs> I think when I smell hoisin sauce and like onions together, I just think of pho. Oh, this smells so good, guys. It smells really good. Let's give one of these meaties a try. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. The hoisin sauce is like really the main flavor I'm tasting, but surprisingly that ginger is coming out to play right where it needs to. I love that. Ginger is such an underlooked ingredient. I think a lot of people are afraid to cook with ginger because it's just so scary sometimes. Have you guys ever like eaten food and you accidentally got a bite of ginger? It's not a fun bite. Right. Got a few pieces of romaine lettuce here. This is gonna be the base of our wrap. I believe normally the recipe calls for the butter lettuce, or those like more rounder leaves. They'd probably look a bit more presentable as well, just easier to eat. But uh, all I found at the store, at my store, were these uh, romaine lettuce, which I think should do the job well. We're gonna go ahead and set up the lettuce on the plate in a way that we can I guess grab these, these are humongous lettuce. Look at this thing. I feel like I should fan someone with this. This is gonna be the tricky part now is to, I guess, put the condiments onto the leaves. I just wanna note, the filling looks incredible, guys. Really caramelized, everything has been cooking nice. The flavors are just all soaked in with each other. Looking delish. Let's get plated. This last one is actually huge. Here they are, the lettuce wraps. They look kind of sad. It's a lot of lettuce in here. I think these lettuce pieces were a little too big. <laughs> so pretty much these are just lettuce leaves with a little bit of garnish inside of them. All right, let's give it a shot. Uh, we'll, we'll go for this, this end right here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so spicy though. <laughs> really good. Oh my gosh, really, really tasty. 
that is super refreshing guys oh my goodness if you guys can't handle heat though i recommend not using as much peppers and spicy seasonings as i did i put at least like five i think different sort of spices on here oh yeah they're just lettuce wraps i don't know how to make them like any more appetizing i feel like i just want to put like a lot more in this one should we try it should we just like pack this bad boy up Oh, this one is packed. Oh my gosh, it's spicy. I asked my girlfriend like ideas for meal prep because I was kind of sick of what I was cooking for meal preps and she gave me this idea. Ooh, you guys dare me to do it? I dare you to move. Should I do it one bite, one opportunity? This is for Eminem, I'm doing it. a huge bite that was really good i don't feel heavy which is really nice like i just feel refreshed what is this feeling food giving me energy what you're telling me i don't want to die after this meal where's my feeling of regrets that was super refreshing pretty good meal guys my whole face is like burning right now because of all the peppers <laughs> i feel it i feel it guys i want to say thank you so much for watching my little cooking video i hope you did enjoy i know it was just a really simple dish i wanted to I don't know, bring you along my journey of meal prepping this for the first time. How many meals could this last me though? With the quantity that I cooked, as you saw in the video, I don't think it will last me more than two more meals. Which will be okay, because I have curry also. So, it's fine. It's all fine. It's all good. Is it good? Mr. Banana, is it good? Guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. This has been Deboki, and we'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye. down and the nights come up. You're gonna wonder what this camera angle's for. It's for the thumbnail. I swear. I'm using it. I've been thinking about this too long. I'm doing it. Whoa, did you see me? I like hesitated. I got scared. I'm doing it. Ba -da -ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Something. And it's funny because my last name... Ugh. That was weird. You know what my orthodontist told me when I was like seven or eight? He got mad at me because I had a small mouth. Never mind, that came out weird. Guys, I want to say thank you. <coughs> what the? Am I a cat? Did I just cock up a hairball? Do I even have a cat? Like always, thank you again, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. This has been the Bokey. Forgot my name.